In this video, we'll go over the icons and options on CorelDRAW's status bar. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. By default, the status bar runs along the bottom of the CorelDRAW workspace, below the Document Navigator and Document Palette. For Windows users, if you don't see the status bar, right-click in any toolbar area and toggle on Status Bar. The Window Toolbars menu is another place where you can toggle toolbars on and off. For Mac users, if the status bar is not displayed, choose View Show Status Bar. For Windows users, right-clicking in the status bar opens a menu where the first option is Customize. I can set the button size for all toolbars, or just for the status bar, where I'll increase to the large button size for the rest of this tutorial. I'll cover other customization options a bit farther on. Also by default, the status bar for the PC version displays tool hints about the currently active tool. The Pick tool is active, so the status bar lets me know what single and double clicks do, as well as what happens when I add modifier keys such as Shift or Alt. Tool hints change each time I activate a new tool. I can set the status bar to display different things by clicking the gear icon. I'll switch to Object Details, which is the default status bar setting for the Mac version, and go back to the Pick tool. As you would expect, object details depend on what's selected. For example, while this group is selected, I can see its dimensions and center point coordinates, number of objects, and its layer. For a selected image, I can also see its type and resolution, and for selected text, I can see its position and font details. Switching to cursor coordinates, the coordinates update as I move my cursor around, and I can also view document color settings, which displays the color profiles that have been selected for this document. I'll go back to tool hints. On the right side of the status bar are icons that display fill and outline properties for the currently selected object. When I select this rectangle, I see it has a fountain fill and no outline. I can double-click the fill icon to edit those properties, such as setting a uniform fill. Similarly, I can double-click the outline icon to edit outline properties, such as width, style, or color. At the end of the status bar is an icon to toggle proof colors, which simulates how the printed output will look. The options that appear when I right-click in the status bar and choose Customize Status Bar are available in the Windows version of CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, but are not available in the Mac version, CorelDRAW Standard, or CorelDRAW Essentials. With the Add New Command option, I can add frequently used commands to the status bar. For example, if I work often with bitmaps, I may want quick access to bitmap tools. I can drag icons from the Options window right into the status bar, and remove icons by dragging them off. To add a separator line, I'll right-click on the icon to the right of where I want the separator, and choose Customize Status Bar, Add Separator. Another way to remove an icon from the status bar is to right-click on the icon and choose Customize Status Item, Delete. I can also add an entire toolbar flyout, which comes in empty, but I can use the Add New Command to populate the flyout by dragging command icons onto the flyout then into the correct position within the flyout. I can use the position option to place the status bar along the top instead of the bottom, and with the size option, I can increase the status bar to two lines. This way I can display, for example, both tool hints and object details, and add command icons to both lines. Finally, the customize menu for the status bar also has a properties option. When status bar is selected on the left, many of the customization options we already saw can be set on the right. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the status bar in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.